The film begins with a boy named Jai Hayek, who was an expert in breaking lockers and big safe. He used to steal valuable things and sell them. He used to do his job very cleverly. That's why he wasn't caught even after 100 thefts, and no one knew anything about him. One day he went to steal a valuable stone in the building, which was very expensive. The safe had a lot of locks in it. It was very difficult to break it or open it, but Jai Hayek opened it very cleverly and took the stone and left. Jai Hayek's hard work was wasted, but he didn't give up. He designed the same stone and prepared it. Then he went to sell it at a shop. But the shopkeeper there found out that it was fake and he refused to buy it. But Jai Hayek also knew that this shopkeeper sells fake things. He threatens him and says that if you don't buy this stone from me, I will tell the police. I know that you sell fake things. Now the shopkeeper agrees and buys the stone from him. Jai Hayek was also his friend here. He had this feature that he used to fit the bomb in the smallest thing. Then after this theft, he decided to print fake notes. He made fake notes just like real notes, but as soon as he poured alcohol on them, the words were erased. He didn't get any benefit from this work. One day, Jai Hayek decided that he would steal diamonds. Now the shop in which he wanted to steal, there were cameras everywhere, and it wasn't that easy to do this work. Now he includes another friend in his plan, who was a very big hacker. He once complained to the police about it, but still he was ready to trust him in this work. He also meets a girl who was an expert in such things like him. This girl had a very good friendship with Jai Hayek. When they both go for a walk, Jai Hayek sees a locket around his neck. She tells him that my dad gave it to me as a gift. Jai Hayek tells him that it is very expensive, and very expensive too. Now they go to the jewelry store to find out about it. So there the lady tells them that it is very expensive, and worth millions. Then he puts a bag under the table. This was the same shop where he wanted to steal. Jai Hayek sees everything. He calculates everything. How many rooms are there? How many cameras are there? Later, he tells the girl that within 10 minutes, we will have to complete this robbery. Now the day of the robbery, which he had kept under the back table, smoke starts coming out of it and all the guards run towards it. Their Jai Hayek's hacker friend hacks all the cameras, and he had also turned off all the alarms in the safe. But before they knew what time it was, the guards come. But Jai Hayek's second friend breaks the glass of the car to distract the guards. Now they had stolen after which Jai Hayek and his friends were very happy. Everyone celebrates. When the owner of the diamonds finds out that his diamonds have been stolen, he gets very angry, but he also liked the work of these thieves because he was surprised. He had not left any evidence against him. The owner of the diamonds, whose name was Joe, he was a very big businessman and also a very big gangster. That is, he was a bad person who had killed many people. He was also preparing for a big robbery. That's why he was looking for such smart thieves. He found very big thieves and even tested the robbers, but no one was according to his work. Now Joe decides that he will look for these thieves who had stolen his diamonds, that is, Jai Hayek and his friends. Now his men start looking for them. They keep an eye on every diamond shop. Finally, Joe's men found out about Jai Hayek. Now Joe goes to him and says, Joe says that you will have to steal for me. In return, I will give you a 5% commission. Now Joe could not refuse because he threatens them that if they refuse, he will kill their family because he was a very dangerous gangster. Joe says that a ship full of 150 million is coming, but where this ship will stop, there is the best security system in the world. Now Joe also gives them tickets to go there. Now Jai Hike also gets caught in the plan of theft. This was his biggest theft. On the other hand, Joe calls Jai Hayek's hacker friend and buys it by paying a lot of money. He says that you will have to keep an eye on Jai Hayek because Joe was afraid that he might betray him. On the other hand, the police were still trying to catch the thieves of diamonds, but soon the police find out that Jai Hayek had not kept the bag in the shop that day. They found out about his house and reached there, where they find out where the next theft of Jai Hayek is, and they also found out that Joe is involved with a very big gangster. There Jai Hayek and his friends reach the port of Bandar Gayon, where the ship was about to come. There they go and hack all the security systems. Now Jai Hayek says to his friend, why don't you keep the money that we will steal with you? The hacker friend also hears these words, to whom Joe had given the money, and tells him everything. He gets very angry after hearing these words, but now he needed Jai Hayek. That's why he couldn't say anything to him yet. Now Jai Hayek goes to meet the girl who was his friend, but she was very angry with him because she hadn't met him for a long time. That's why she wasn't ready to listen to anything. Now Jai Hayek tells him that his dad was his master who taught him to steal. Your dad wanted to live a simple life, 
but his business partner killed him. He was no one else but Joe, but his friend doesn't believe him. She leaves from there. Now when she was going from there, then Joe's men come and kidnap her, so that Jai Hayek couldn't do anything to them. Now the day of theft had also come. Everyone succeeds in coming to the port. Whoever blows up there, Jai Hayek's hacker friend hacks all the cameras. The people there say that there is something wrong with their system. It will take them 40 minutes to fix it. Jai Hayek and his friend had a lot of time now. They opened the safe very cleverly. There was a lot of money in front of them. Now they put all the money in their truck and put fake money on the money. There the police also finds out. They surround this place from all sides, because of which Jai Hayek can't get out of that place. Now the gangster who comes to Jai Hayek, who shoots him, and shows his friend's locket and says, that he is in my custody. I knew that you would cheat me. That's why if you want to save your friend, then you have to surrender yourself to the police. Jai Hayek also wanted to save his friend, who was his master's daughter. For him, he surrenders himself to the police. But as soon as the police starts catching him, he jumps into the sea. The police shoot him, one of which even hits him. And the bag he had with him also explodes with the bomb. Everyone was thinking that he was dead. When his friend finds out that he was good at fitting the bomb, he is very sad. But hacker friend was happy because he was going to get the money of Jai Hayek's share. Both friends argue about this. Hacker friend takes out the knife and kills his own friend. Now finally the truck full of money had reached Jai Hayek, but it turns out that it was only filled with tickets. Seeing this, Jai Hayek's condition had deteriorated. Then he gets a call from Jai Hayek, means he was still alive. Here we find out whatever was happening. It was Jai Hayek's plan. He wanted to avenge his master's death. First of all, he made the stone he had stolen there and put a microphone in it. He knew that the gangster used to buy such things. Then he found out that he was looking for a smart thief. He deliberately stole the diamonds so that he could come into his eyes, who thought it was his plan. But the real plan was Jai Hayek's. Hacker friend was also with Jai Hayek. There that friend was also alive, who was killed by hacker friend. Actually the whole plan was to get Joe caught. Now the police also comes to Joe. Their hacker friend had also saved the girl, who was the master's daughter of Jai Hayek who was kidnapped by Joe. On the other hand, Joe's men and police starts fighting, but Joe takes advantage of this and runs away from there. But when he was going in his car, then Jai Hayek hits his car and gets him caught by the police. After that, all the friends gathered at one place and brought that truck too, which had fake money. Actually, they had kept fake money on the real money. Everyone was very happy because they had money to live a good life. Now it is obvious that Jai Hayek had committed such a big theft. That's why it disappears for a few days. One day he sends money to that girl too, who was his friend, her master's daughter. Now she was in Dubai. She starts her art gallery with that money, which was her dream. She wanted to do this from the beginning. She sees her locket in the museum, behind which Jai Hayek was standing. Now he started liking his master's daughter. Now he starts living happily with his friend. And with this cheerful moments, the movie story ends here.